your sense of smell is mm -hmm. the one that is most closely linked to memory. You're so right. And that everyone, even babies, know that fragrance of lavender. I'll tell you my baby story when we get a chance. I, I think I already know it. I know does you it do. involve a laundry basket? It does, you All got right. it. That sounded really weird, we'll tell you in a bit. Okay, yeah. uh, this is Roberta's American Bread Phenomenal Lavender. At a price tag of under $20, it's a four piece collection. I want you to see this photo of the church with the feel of lavender outside. Isn't Look it gorgeous? At that. Look at the color. Oh. Imagine the fragrance wafting through the air. Beautiful, calming effect of the flowers. This is gorgeous on so many levels for the flowers, for the beauty, the fragrance, and the culinary uses. Some people may know lavender as a as a bush. Mm -hmm. It's a different breed of lavender. It really is. Yes. So let's go back to basics. All right. Let's go back in, in lavender France, 101. Uh, there's a, a is it a breed or a strain? It, they just call it a French lavender. It is an overall term for the lavender that they grow in France. It's known primarily for its beautiful, sweet smell. Yes, high in oil content. Yes. Mm -hmm. The problem is it wasn't, still is not, one of the hardiest to plant. No, it's not. It's not winter hardy so, at all. So our brothers over in the UK yep. started breeding a, a British or an English type of an lavender. English lavender, yeah, and they which use it. Didn't quite have the fragrance. No, it's a little it, more medicinal. But it was hardy. But it's really hardy, tough as nails. So, so we as Americans, we do what we do best. <laughs> we do, don't we? Yeah, uh, taking elements from the French, from the UK, combining them. This is an amazingly hardy lavender that has the same fresh scent of French lavender. Yes, and the never say die hardiness. It, yep of the English lavender, but even, even more, because this is really the first American bred lavender that resists the stumbling blocks that we've had in the garden with other lavenders. And it's patented in the United States, right outside of Philadelphia in 2012. Insects don't seem to bother this. You don't no. get some of the blight that you can get with, with lavender. No, and by the way, aphids, ants, it, ticks, it's all It's winter hardy to what away. temperature? Down to minus 20 degrees <laughs> below zero. That's unheard of for lavender. And this is just yeah. developed and patented in 2012. Better Homes and Garden named it a must buy because of its ease of growth. And also, it was a must buy for the Philadelphia Flower Show where uh -huh. it was introduced. And these but, are but the But not at $19.98. For four pieces. For four $19. pieces. So I, I want to take you back, because I had said that sense of smell is the most closely linked to memory. Mm -hmm. The name Roberta's is the company name for your grandmother. Well, it's actually the kid's grandma. Kids My grandmother grandma. did start the business. Yep. Her name was Sylvia, but we, when we came to QVC, we named it after mom. Yep. And she loved it. Uh, and your story goes back to what Roberta's really began with, and th those were caches of lavender. Yes, absolutely. My very first memory as a child was um, sitting in a laundry basket filled with the lavender sachets yeah. right here um, that grandma was making because she would sell lavender plants along with the sachets at the fairs and flower shows around the country. I was still in diapers, but I still have that memory. I, it was my very first memory. And because it was the scent of lavender yep. that evokes that memory. Every time, every every time, time. you smell yeah. it, you remember yeah. it, don't you? And she, what a brave lady. And let me and show in you. In the early 60s, she traveled by herself yes, to New all York. all around the world. To, to, the, to the World's Fair, the World's yeah. Fair. Boy, she really got her to, start to there. To sell caches and that's where it all started. Yeah. These are dried. Mm -hmm. Rubber band them, yeah. get a big stalk like this. Hang them upside down to dry. And then just twist. Then just twist. And look at all the beautiful lavender blossoms that come off these plants. These are so beautiful fragrance. We all know about the spa benefits of lavender. Yeah. And then also it's Very calming. Yes. I can't stay stuff. away. I mean, I can smell this across the yeah. studio. Uh, it's one of the reasons nice. why I absolutely love lavender. I spent a year living in southern France, actually, you know, the region where French lavender originates from. Right. And I, I fell in love with all the uses of lavender, using it in the kitchen, making spa products. So when I came home and finally had my own garden, I was like, cool, I'm going to grow some French lavender. It did not do very well. Yeah, 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 that's so true. then yep. when I learned of this phenomenal lavender that's bred truly for us Americans in our gardens in the situation that, you know, we have in our backyards, 
it thrives. It does so well. Steph, you're right. And I, so many mm -hmm. of our customers, and myself included, yes. have had lavender doing really, really well. Now, this addresses the four stumbling blocks. That's right. Usually what it is, is like either they won't take a freeze, mm -hmm. right. these will. Either it gets a root rot, these are resistant, a, a leaf mildew. For me, though, it's always been about the high humidity. The hot, They'll humid be growing uh, well, and then all of a sudden, boy, we get so much humidity, it right. knocks them out. But these will not. That's right. This is a time to rediscover your favorite yes. flower. Rediscover lavender, pick up several sets. Let's look at the images, Steph, and let's show them how Absolutely. you can use this in your garden. And, and you're getting already thriving plants, and you're getting four of them. Yep. Uh, we've offered this, and people have gone crazy for it. Thank you. For now to reason. be able to, this new configuration, mm -hmm. four plants for under $20. It's amazing. and. You know, the yeah, benefits, you won't find it at your local garden center. I would think not. It would yeah. be very hard to find this. And you're looking along a border. Along your borders. And like my Uncle Court was saying, what's so great about this phenomenal lavender is that it was bred for us Americans. So, you know, for us in Indiana, we get hot, humid, sticky summers. These are going to have no problem yep. in that. And then and during the cold winters. they're evergreen in the cold winter. That's mm -hmm. right. Like, so. they, they're still a beautiful silvery color. And mm -hmm. then they blossom up to this. Yep. And you're going to have a long season of color. June, July, And, and they come August, back each year. September. Yeah, that's perennial. Right. Yes, that's, deer that's resistant. That's beautiful. And you cannot grow wrong with these plants. So pick up several sets. You'll have no regrets. I love them along walkways. Because as you stroll through the garden, it's your leg brushes up yeah, against yeah, it. Yeah. It releases and, yeah. and look at this. Going up those stairs, you know, yes. maybe that's to someone's home or into your office. And building. you pause you can, yeah, you take at a the minute. end of those steps. Mm -hmm. well, and you just you hear the old adage, step. you know, stop and smell the roses. Yeah. Well, let's stop uh, lavender, and smell the lavender. Lavender, you you can't help but pause. Absolutely when, not. When you smell it, it is it's an amazing plant. Look at that up against the stone wall. Yes. So each one I of these four really uh, cool. plants will will spread, and they'll do about a three foot spread. So uh, pick up several sets. One collection will do twelve feet, and this is how I like them along your borders, along your driveways, along your walkways. Uh, and and enjoy again the the French plant did not do well in American gardens. The the British version was hardier but didn't have didn't have that soft scent. This is the absolute fragrance of lavender that we remember, but it thrives in American soil. Very few gardening centers are going to have these. We've got them four plants, four of them for under $20. Today we also have them on easy pay. 5 Five payments of four and, bucks and each. And give your geraniums a grow too. Give and them a grow. You know what? With you know these what else two. thrives with the lavenders? These calliope geraniums. Absolutely. Look how gorgeous they are together. The the pink and the lavender colors. They look gorgeous together. Awesome. They both love that full hot uh, sun. Yes. And they're very drought, drought tolerant. Well. So you know, this is no, another Devin's design tips. <laughs> by, by Thank way, you, Devin. By the <laughs> way, I shouldn't do this. I'm going to pick on her because she's over there. <clears throat> when Stephanie first came to QVC. And you've been here now, this is what, your second year? Second year. We were on the air with a different type of lavender. Mm -hmm. And just, just to test the waters, yeah. I remember turning to her and I go, what color are these flowers? <laughs> and she looked like a dog that had just heard a whistle. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Because when you say lavender, moment. are you talking about the color or are you talking oh, about was, the flower? What are you talking about? And I got to tell you, this oh. is when I fell in love with that little lady. She looked at me and she goes, come on out, Steph. You are kidding, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> it was a good moment. I love how the stalks are even a different color. And the greenery, it's, it's, it's not green. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's silver. It's a beautiful, they're like silvery clouds oh. all through the winter that come up into bloom in June, July, August, September. You cut all these flowers, you hang them upside down to dry like yep. that, and then you're going to get your bundles and you make your potpourri. Yeah. Now, look, this is a plant that gives so much to everyone on the planet. It repels moths, silverfish, ants, stink bugs that's, in the garden. That's it why they were put as cash and would be put in fine linen Absolutely. Chest. It wasn't just for the scent, it was no. to chase away the bugs. And in the garden next to your heirloom tomatoes, you will not have to spray insecticides for because aphids, the aphids and, yeah, will stay away. I agree. This, I've been on this mission of, of getting chemicals off our farm property Thank you. completely. Okay. Thank you for the and, whole plant kingdom and for the human and I kingdom. Gotta, lavender is one of the greatest natural plants to get rid of pests. 
Uh, it is such a joy to work with you. We've got a few more minutes left. I, I want to I go over and we're going to revisit our orchid cactus. Now, don't forget, 